Hello, my name is Justin Patterson. I'm an application engineer here at QTE Manufacturing Solutions. Uh, and today I'm gonna give you a quick tip on something that I've found to be extremely useful uh, with your usage of Mastercam. Um, and that's creating a backup file or a backup file with folder structures for your uh, Mastercam setup. So to understand what I'm talking about, when you get Mastercam, you set it up however you want. Most of you do at least where you can have different background colors. Like in this case, I have my planes and levels manager on the right hand side because I'm running a 4K monitor. This way I like it to be set up with my 4K monitor setup. Then when I use my laptop without my monitors, I have a different configuration file that doesn't have the planes managers over here, okay? Uh, same thing with like what I have stored for right clicks, some different tabs, which this is 2025, so I do not have all my tabs built in yet. But this will still show you what I'm needing to do. So this is what uh, I want to use at all times. So you, if you haven't experienced already, most of you probably have, is the, the dreaded uh, email or conversation with one of our support team members saying that we need you to delete your configs. We need to reset your configurations. So what that does, it actually resets everything, takes it right back to default. You lose all this work that you did. So what I like to do is I like to create myself backup uh, files of this. That's what I'm going to show you in this this video today. Um, so my suggestion is you, to you is when you first get whatever version you are, as soon as you install it, get Mastercam set up exactly how you want. And that's when we're going to do the following steps. We're going to create an actual backup. But to understand what this is, is if we go to just this PC, we need to get to C drive. However you get there, it doesn't matter. This is outside of Mastercam. This is just a regular file, explo file explorer. So I'm going to go C drive and I'm going to go to users and then the default location where it should be is going to be in this C users and then under your username and documents. Okay. This is where these my master cams should reside. This is by default. Now windows has kind of thrown us for a loop here in the last couple of years with introducing OneDrive installed with all windows 11 updates, which kind of really hurt this. So if you do not see it in the in the uh, C drive users, your username documents, it's going to reside in the OneDrive. Okay, so if you go to OneDrive, I actually deactivated on mine. But if you go into OneDrive and go into documents, you will see it in here. And this see when I installed 2025, this is where it put it put it at. And I have since changed that. If that's something you want to know the right way to do that, um, there are some videos out there that we produced to kind of show you how to change it in the registry files. If you, can, if you don't know that, just please reach out to us. We're, we're here to help you for that. But in today's case, what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to back these up. So let me give you an understanding of what happens. If I close Mastercam, the minute I close Mastercam, it actually, any changes that were done, writes to your configuration folder, which the configuration folder is actually inside of the My Mastercam. It's inside of here. It could be your, your config file. It could be your workspace file. It could be a lot of different files. But this is what runs how you want Mastercam to be. I just like to grab, grab the My Mastercam all together just due to the fact where I like to clean out, you know, have a clean slate where there's no NC files, no NCI files, none of that. I don't need any of that. But if I was to delete the 2025 right here, like we tell you to do, and I go to launch Mastercam 2025, you're going to notice that it's just going to pop up default Mastercam like the day you installed it. So that's that pain that we don't like to have. Um, so something so simple, let me just, let me let this load up real quick. Okay, and as you can see, it's just default Mastercam. That's, we'd have to start all over, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close Mastercam, and what you do is you go grab, you go to the location I showed you, and you go grab the My Mastercam folder that you have there. So I, granted, I just deleted it, but we wanna grab that My Mastercam 2025, and we're gonna create a folder called My Mastercam Backups. That's at least what I call it. You can go put it on your server. That's probably the smart place to be. It does not need to be in the same location. This is just where I have mine at. So I would suggest to put it on your server, but just on my Mastercam backup. And in there, you'll see I have each version in there. So let's say it's 2025. Like I said, I have the standard and then I have my 4K version. So I can go to the 4K and there's the my Mastercam. I'm gonna grab that. I'm gonna copy that. I'll take it right back to here and just replace it. So I already deleted the one. I pasted this one in. And then when I launch Mastercam, you're going to notice it's going to come up with the way I originally had it at the start of this video. So that's how simple it is. Just go set up Mastercam how you want, 
go store that my master cam folder in into a backup folder of some sort where if you ever do get that dreaded conversation with us you're really not out too much and i find it's it's not a bad thing to delete this every once in a while it just helps clean everything up so um that's kind of my quick little tip for you guys today if you have any further questions or you want to know more about this please reach out to us uh we're here to help you thank you